Hello and welcome to the Santu Pearls Weekly Stock Market Commentary. This time for week ending June 21st, 2013. Market Breadth. With this past week's market decline, our bull bear point and figure ratio fell from 1.32 to 0 0.83, now in bearish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns decreased 4% to 2,077. The count of bearish stocks increased 33%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns decreased 17%. The Sand to Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now one consecutive week in bearish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the Excel data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking on the Membership tab, and clicking Sign Up. For those who are interested, a free two-week trial membership is available. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, fell 137 points for the 20th decline in 39 weeks. At a positive 236.06 points, it continues below the May 2013 top, the March 2013 top, the September 2012 top, the February 2012 top, the November 2011 top, the January 2011 top, and the November 2010 top and above the June 2010 bottom, the March 2011 bottom, the June 2011 bottom, the August 2011 bottom, the December 2011 bottom, the May 2012 bottom, and the November 2012 bottom. In this week's volume analysis, the Russell 2000 ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode. In the last two weeks, it had one accumulation day and three distribution days. Of the other indexes, both the S&P 500 deposit receipts and the Diamonds Trust ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the Russell 200 also ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode. Momentum. The CCI Daily has still not yet had six consecutive days below zero for a change in Woody's trend. There are currently two consecutive days of the CCI 20 below zero, with the CCI 20 at minus 280.88, outside the range for a valid zero line reject signal. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 19 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend 14 weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly now has 25 weeks above zero and began a Woody's uptrend 19 weeks ago. At 56.83, it continues just outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject signal should one occur. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five and bottom five industries are negative. Bullish networkers and brokers remain in the top five. Gold and silver continues to lead the bottom five. Banks and comp tech have left the bottom five. Bearish oil services has entered the top five. REITs have re-entered the bottom five. Oil has left the bottom five. Focus this week. We're in the midst of a global currency reset. Interesting reading.
if you're so inclined. Hope that you enjoy that article. I hope that you are having a wonderful weekend and that you have a great week coming up. Thanks for listening to this week's market commentary and happy trading.